Welcome to making the Stuart Model steam plant. This one is part 18. Assembling the condenser, oil trap economizer and soft soldering the parts together. The job begins by thoroughly cleaning all of the surfaces that I'm going to soft solder. Whether you're silver soldering or soft soldering, cleanliness is essential. I don't mean that you have to go and have a shower, I'm talking about the metal parts being very clean. And this cleanliness especially applies to the edges of the copper tube where it's in contact with the top and bottom plates. For this job I use my 4 inch belt sander and lightly touch the edges of the tube on that and then the part is really clean. The bottom plate is going to be painted so I don't want it shiny. In this clip I'm using some Scotch Brite to roughen it up. There will be quite a lot more cleaning up of this plate once the soldering job's out of the way. Now I'm about to soft solder this copper tank onto the base. And by holding the copper tube in place I'm scribing a line on the base so I know where it goes. This is a bit of plumber's solder and I'm going to use some of this on the inside of the tank. Now it's time to apply the flux. This is a commercial acid flux that you would buy in a plumber's merchants and this stuff is called Fryer Lux Paint which is a mixture of finely ground solder with flux mixed in. I'm using the last bit of this there isn't much left in the tub. I'm applying quite a good amount of this stuff to the inside of the tube. When heat is applied it will melt and run down to the bottom. So I should get a really nice fillet of solder on the inside before I start applying it on the outside. I always like a belt and braces approach so I also applied some of the Fryer Lux paint to the base. All I need now to start the job is some heat but nowhere near the heat I would use for silver soldering. You may be wondering why I'm not silver soldering this part and the reason is soft solder is more than adequate for this job. By the time the steam gets to this condenser oil trap economizer it's going to be nowhere near as hot as it was when it left the boiler. Plus in no time at all the condenser starts to fill up with condensate. Also it's not a pressure vessel and I've made lots of these condensers in exactly the same way as this and they've all been perfectly fine. Most of the condensers that are made in the past didn't have the economizer coil and I only silver soldered that part because it is technically a pressure vessel when it's connected to the boiler. A very small and thin pressure vessel but a pressure vessel nevertheless. Apart from the Fryer Lux paint on the inside, not forgetting the lump of plumber's solder that I put in there, I applied quite a lot of electrical solder around the outside edge and then I used a paintbrush dipped in water to clean it all up. Before I continue I need to allow some time for the condenser to cool. This part was allowed to cool slowly, quenching in water is not recommended. Why do I need to let it cool slowly? The reason is that if I drop the parts into cold water there will be a sudden contraction of all the parts and this could crack the solder joint. In this clip you can see that quite a lot of the solder ran onto the bottom plate but this is very easy to remove once the part is finished. And what I'm currently doing is applying some Fryer Lux solder paint to the internal parts. By doing this it will seal every one of the steam inlet pipes. And as usual I'm applying far too much solder paint, it doesn't need as much as this but I don't want to have to dismantle the tank if it leaks. I'm also going to soft solder the union nut that I fitted inside the tank and the pipe. The last thing I want is any kind of leak or anything falling off inside. Apart from the Fryer Lux paint just as previously shown I'm also applying a small amount of resin cord electrical solder. I have to heat the part externally. If I push the blow lamp's head into a closed tube then the flame goes out. If you look at the bottom of the tank you will see how neatly the solder that I put in there spread out all over it. One final application of a bit of electrical solder and the job is done. Now I need to wait until everything cools down. And for the second time, once again the part was allowed to cool slowly, quenching in water is not recommended. Once the part had thoroughly cooled, I applied some more Fryer Lux paint around the inside edge of the top. Then with the top cap sat on the fire bricks, I inverted the unit, making sure it was in the right place, and here, as previously shown, I'm heating it up with the blowtorch. 
You need to use the blowtorch constructively, making sure that you heat the part very evenly. And it's really important not just to concentrate the heat in one spot, keep the blowtorch moving. After a while the temperature is sufficient to melt the solder and a nice ring of solder appears around the edge of the top cap and I clean it up once again using a paintbrush soaked in water. Once the part had thoroughly cooled I cleaned up the base using some emery cloth. I'm not going to paint the top cap but I am going to paint the base. The top of the condenser oil trap economizer will be polished. Here it is in position on the plant I'm also going to make a matching top cap for the water tank on the right hand side because I don't like the one that's on there because currently I think it looks like a small biscuit barrel. Not all of my videos are for public viewing. I prioritise my Patreon supporters. When I post a video public on YouTube sometimes I get comments like this one. Well the video was very short. Two things I'd like to mention I have the advantage of seeing what the average view length from the videos that are on YouTube are, which shows me that a lot of viewers do not watch the videos to the end anyway. But for those viewers who do watch my videos right to the very end, listen to the last line. And that's it for this video. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.